Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and if you're looking for inspiration to make some super fun and whimsical wire crafts, you have come to the right place. I hope to inspire you to use your imagination and add your own special flair to the projects that I share with you here. Now don't forget to give me the thumbs up, comment to let me know what you think of the project and of course subscribe. Clicking that notification bell is important too. That way you know when I have new content to share. Now remember many of my designs are original so don't forget to give me a shout out if you share to other places such as your social media. So let's get started as I show you how to make this super cute aluminum wire bookmark. All right let's go. The materials we are using for our beautiful little heart bookmark is a 18 gauge aluminum wire, colored aluminum. Here we have a 24 gauge colored aluminum and obviously in pink because they're hearts but you could do them any color that you choose. We have a smattering of crystals here, a little heart charm that we're going to add to it and then we're using our jewelry pliers and these ones have no teeth so they are non-scarring um, and then just a little pair of snips and then our ruler. Now in general I like to make these about 20 centimeters long so upwards of about 8 inches or so. A little bit shorter is fine but um, you go much shorter than that and they seem just kind of stumpy, right? So they just seem like they're um, pr proportionately wrong. So just to just to keep that in mind when when you're working on your project. Okay, now to start we're going to take our heavier gauge wire and I'm working just right off of the spool here for this part of it at least and take our round jewelry pliers, our barrel nose pliers, and we're just going to create a little bit of a loop there, just a little bit of a curl, like so. And then we're just going to bring this around like this, creating this lovely little, lovely little curl at the end. And then we're just going to start to form our hearts. And these are so easy, it's, it's really incredible. So to start off, we just make ourselves a nice sharp, sharp little bend here. And the sharper the better. And then we're just going to make a little bit of a bend like so. And then about at the halfway point up this wire here, and by halfway I mean so that it's situ situated like so, we're just going to take our wire and we're going to bend it completely back on itself. Okay, and then we're going to bring it back around, create another one of those humps, and voila! There is your first little heart. Once again, we're going to bend this a nice sharp, nice sharp little ending to that there. And there's going to be lots of adjusting on this because this wire is so super soft. And don't worry about these hearts being perfect because uh, that's part of the whimsy of them is them being being a little a little more rustic, I guess. So then we're coming up. We want this one here to be a little bit a little bit larger than what this one is. And we want to keep in mind our length too, right? Okay, so that's about that. So I do want this to be taller. So I'm just shaping it with my with my thumb and then pulling it down. And we're grabbing it once again at about the halfway point here. And we're bending it back on itself. Creating that lovely, lovely point in our heart. And then we're just forming that 
back around. And you see how sweet that is? Ooh, it's adorable. Okay, and then we're bending this again. Fairly sharp. Okay, so that has given us, brought us to about four inches, so about the halfway point. So same thing. Make that sharp, sharp bend there. And then this one we're going to make smallish like that one. Grabbing it about the midway point here, bending that back onto itself. And that one just kind of moved a little bit, so I just went in, I squeezed it, and there we go. Back around. Gosh, this is these are just so adorable. Okay, giving it another bend. Okay, so at this point. We're going to just take this. So we're going to end up a little bit shorter than eight inches, I think. More like about seven. Actually, no, you know what? Let's make it the eight. So what I'm going to do is I'll just create a little swirl here. Like that. And then we'll do another one. Like that. And in hindsight, we could have done the same thing on this side, just to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, and now we're just going to form, form the top of our, our bookmark. So it still brought us down to about, about seven and a half inches. Okay. And we're going to come back. I'm just going to loosely stretch this out. Like I said, you'll be playing with it. You'll be tweaking it a bit before we're finished here. And then we're going to take, we're going to make another bend there like that. And then we'll come back and we'll finish it off with a little loop like that. So I'm going to cut it off. Make sure we got a little bit of extra in there. And then we're going to curl it like that. All right, it's the start of our bookmark. All right, so then we're taking our 24 gauge wire. Once again, we're going to work off the spool with this. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off at this end and then we're going to start to fasten all these components to one another. Okay, so we're going to take and firstly just take the end of your of your um, the wire that you're going to wrap with and you're going to kind of tuck it in there between the wires not literally between but just so that it holds it in place and then we're going to give just a few solid nice solid wraps gonna hold it in place okay and then we're going to just start to wrap around our bookmark like so trying to keep these wires parallel you see how they're nice and flat and then and I just overlapped them like I did not want to do and that's where you can use your flat pliers as well to just kind of keep keep all that stuff aligned wrapping around like so trying to keep those the bottoms fairly close together And wrapping it like this really strengthens it because the aluminum wire is, is pretty soft just by its nature and uh, 
So yeah, this helps helps lend its strength so that it becomes a more durable durable piece. And then my wires, I can see there, they kind of slipped. Trying to flatten them out a little bit more. All right. Okay. So now we've gotten here to this side. And it's just so adorable. And so I'm going to take a, a good length of wire here. And I'm going to just start to wrap this. Around here. And these look really, really sweet, tucked into a into a little cookbook. Whether it's for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or Father's Day or birthday, I know my mom really likes to read, and with COVID restrictions being what they are. Fortunately, she's had to spend a lot of time alone. And uh, so she was an avid reader before, but she reads a lot now. And uh, she just absolutely loves, loves things like this. So, so as you can see, I strung my bead on my wire. I do want this to kind of lay lay flat if at all possible and uh, so this might take a little bit of finagling a little bit of finessing to get it to sit where I want it to but that's not bad actually just like that so I'll give that a couple of wraps I'll add another one slipped. Well, I can see why, because instead of coming around behind, I just went back on the front. So I'll rectify that. Come up underneath. And as you can see, these come together super fast. So you'll be making lots of them. I'm pretty sure of that. And the aluminum wire just comes in so many different colors that really you're only limited by what you can get your hands on. You know, and uh, I hadn't I hadn't used much aluminum wire for probably the first four years I was doing this. And but boy, now that I've discovered it, I can tell you it is a fan favorite. This is this is a type of wire that I really really enjoy working with. It's just so easy, right? And it's uh, it sure gives you a wide variety of colors and gauges. So yeah, it's uh, I've, I'm finding it to be a very versatile versatile medium. Okay, so now we've added our crystals and that is super cute. And then I've come back down to this junction where we, uh, you know, where we started to wind up around this loop. So now we are just simply going to finish it off by doing a couple of, a couple of close wraps here. And then we snip nice and close. These are flat pliers. Okay, like so. Beautiful. All right. 
Now I'm going to bring this back in. This is our heavier, heavier gauge wire again. Just snip off a bit here. And I, what I want to do is I'm going to create um, just a lovely little swirly, swirly piece because this is what we're going to hang our charm off of. This is here. Okay, and that's going to hang from here. So then, bring this back in. This is our um, scrap from just wrapping this. And we just made a little loop like that. We'll pop our heart on there. And then close it up, like so. And then I think we're going to take another crystal and pop it on there as well. If I can find the hole. <laughs> Oh boy, some days I'm telling you. Okay, and then we'll just take and we'll create another loop on on the end. Like so. Okay, we're gonna open that up and pop it on here. And close that up again. See we ended up with this really sweet sweet little charm and then we're going to make our what would serve as our jump ring I guess on the end of this one here oops wire went flying something I try very hard not to do and we're going to pop this on here close it up and then we want to make sure this is good and tight. Okay, so we can just lay that down and uh, make sure it's good, good and tight, nicely closed. Isn't that just the sweetest little thing? Talk about an adorable gift. So thank you so much for popping by and joining me as we made this great little heart bookmark together. It makes a really great gift for any book lover out there. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming though, so it's very appropriate. But you know what? Tuck it into a cookbook uh, for somebody's birthday or Mother's Day and it's going to be a, a, be a big hit and it's so, so easy to make. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, give me that thumbs up and click the notification bell so you know when I have new content to share with you. So for now, thanks again and I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you soon.